Welcome to the Legends of Basketball Showcase. Fox Primetime Hoops brings us to Cleveland today, where last time West Virginia played Ohio State, the Mountaineers beat the number two Buckeyes. It would take an upset like that tonight. All right, here we go. Ohio State, West Virginia. And the tap is won by the Buckeyes, and Ohio State will have it first. They're 10 and 2, 1 and 1 of the Big Ten. Could have been 2 and 0, but they gave away a big lead against Penn State earlier this month. Evan Mahaffey, the former Nittany Lion, and this is out of bounds, a turnover. These young men are going to look to you for guidance. He said, listen, did you see the shot go up? Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about with the game. They're not a great three-point shooting team, just 31%. That one is cash for Roddy Gale Jr., the sophomore. How does that change what Thornton and Gale do? Nothing so far. No. Five for Gale. If trying to run. Hit ahead from battle for Kresa. Slezinski carving through. Equan battle. Now you have to honor that. Slezinski able to get to the basket. Felix Okpara, who has been a very nice rim protector. The nutrition was there, the strength and training was there, now he's paying dividends, not only for himself, but for the Buckeyes. Thornton splashes down a jumper, the guards are hot so far for the Buckeyes, and then Roddy Gale with a stuff. Rhythm a little bit early inside, a little pump fake, you bite, I draw, Thornton able to knock in the three. But then not to be denied, give me two of these right now, Bucks up seven. Ball all the way out for Thornton. Middleton willing to attack, he's in the lane again to drop it off, and a beautiful find for Key. And that's the challenge. Get inside when the shot goes up. But when you're playing without a five and Raekwon Battle is out with two fouls, you're in trouble, and Jamison Battle is back in for the Buckeyes. Missed it for three, rebound for Johnson, and West Virginia finally some transition, and a stuff for Slazinski. No one on the opposite side, Roddy Gale is watching the ball, he's supposed to get back. And then Botter, back to Thornton, another reload, Jamison, battle no, Akpara, a fourth chance! I have to get physically stronger, but in the right way, put on the right kind of weight, and you see it paying off for him right now, beautiful shot. Dre now okay. to the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, somebody hit your SAP <laughs> button there for a moment. Roddy Gale splashes down a two, and he has been nasty so far. Call out your opponent by taking long contested shots. Take what the defense gives you and what your partner gives you. Slazinski gets the bump and the bucket, and a big one for West Virginia with two fouls. Long arms of Jamison battle defensively. Farrakhan hopped around him and cashed in. And the zone. The ball for the Buckeyes has him touched the middle of the corner of the paint. Farrakhan, that was tough, but the follow slam. A quick attack. A blow by. The help from Zed Key and now taking his eye off Sumnick on the back side. That time. Zed Key was in no man's land. Either you're going to contest or you're going to sit back and block out. He did neither. West Virginia able to capitalize off of it. What? They're not getting broken down. So they're able to find the body when the shot goes up. And speaking of shot going up. Oh, Teresa, a splash down for the tie. Where are the answers for Ohio State? Everything at the perimeter again. Here's a drive from Gale, and he scores. He had two fouls late in the first half. Gale with 11. 14 possessions in regards to getting a basket. Against that zone. And Raekwon battle in 13 minutes of the first half with foul trouble scores. Right back at you, right back in his own defense. And a three for Jamison Battle. Was in maybe Josh Island has to rethink it. Well, if you hit the couple, you stretch out the defense a little bit more. Speaking about stretching out the defense. Here comes Thornton. Jamison Battle, dangerous trailer. Sit again, that's a big third foul. Gale, body to body with Parisa, took him to the rack. Then it shots for Ohio State here in the second half. Long jumper is good for Farrakhan. He did just pick up his second personal foul. Nobody with three yet for Ohio State. Parisa on the dribble handoff, knocks it down. 
Sneaky good this year. West Virginia on the run. Kobe Johnson got to the rim. Nice defense for battle. It's a foul on the way up and two. Josiah Harris, the Canton native to the Cleveland Canton area. And on the drive, a beautiful defensive stop that time by Jameson Battle by going straight up and down. But Harris didn't take it for granted that the shot would be up and in. So he continued. Now listen, he got over the back of Roddy Gale Jr. But Middleton, the discard, no whistle. And Battle reloads Gale for three. Oh, yeah. So what, yeah, so what do you think, you, what, what you really trying to say? I'm saying he's into it. Into it how? With what? With all of his might. Yes, sir. For West Virginia when shots have not gone down for others. Across the lane. Middleton for three. What a find by Gale. Raekwon battle. When he's been on the floor, he has filled it up, Jimmy. Washington to here. Farrakhan had a notion there. You want to pull it. Off the spin, on the scoop. Oh, that is nifty. Backcourt can be in small doses as they're just now getting their feet wet as a tandem. Battle wide open. He got it. Oh, shot making galore here in Cleveland. Mind frame in regards to their growth over the summer now transferring that to the season. Farrakhan again got hooked and he scored anyway. Noah Farrakhan's on a burner. Kind of drew this play up. And now because Dale Bonner played so high up on Farrakhan's left side, the baseline was open. So no rotation on the backside. Let me read the defense. Akpara jumped up as he was going to help. Slow completely down to get that two where he wanted. And Akpara ended up doing some shots, but a cook that time able to clean up the mess on the weak side. This is the front end of a one and one. Here's a backdoor battle, stuffs it. Touch pass down low. On the swing, Thornton. Jamison Battle brings up another. But Jamison Battle was able to have a clear look at that three. Swazinski got it on the rim. Risa scanning. Swazinski. And one. Let's see if West Virginia can get a stop for the Buckeyes. Can to figure out the zone, just get it to Roddy Gale. Got to get it to Roddy Gale, yes. Fourth. Well, this is what I'm talking about, a slight screen. Akpar does a great job on Sumnick to kind of clear the lane, and Roddy Gale Jr., because he didn't discontinue his dribble. With that clears the rebound, and turns, and burns, and scores! Farrakhan for a battle. Farrakhan, driving dish. And the score for Sumnick, we're tied. In some statistical categories, in particular, points in the paint, 22 to 10. In the second half for West Virginia. Wow. Two foul troubles. Lazinski has four. Farrakhan has four for the Mountaineers. Thornton tunneling into the lane. Gale tripped. Battle. Lay it up again. Risa pull up. Raekwon battle. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is wild. Seven to shoot for the Buckeyes. Pull up. Gale. Oh yes. The Hayfield fell for a moment. Got back up. Battle into his body. No. Yes. Be effective right now. Button. What a move. Now Farrakhan, who's been dynamic in the second half, finds his spot one, two. That's good. And then especially Farrakhan and Battle. Oh, top catch. He drills it anyway. Maybe a little, maybe. A coach on it. Steal. And a steal. West Virginia. Battle stuffs it. Three-point game. He's Jim Jackson. I'm Jason Benetti. 78-75. The final score. You've been watching Fox Primetime Hoops.